Hello and welcome to Math Steps. Today we are going to learn about prisms and their cross section area. You are going to need to, to know what the cross section area is because you're going to use that knowledge when you find the volume of prisms. So a, a prism is a three dimensional shape, 3D, how we call it shortly with two identical faces facing each other. Now let's have a look at this shape. It is a prism and it has two identical faces facing each other. So one is this face here, it's a triangle face, and the other one is on the back, the one no, the area that you don't see, you cannot see. And this is one, I'm going to put a little arrow. Now, why is this shape called a prism? It is called a prism because this shape has the same cross-section area. Now, what does a cross-section area mean for the prism, or, the, or where is that same, cro same uh, cross-section area? Now, you can slice the prism in many different ways. You can slice it, for example, you can slice it this, this way. Imagine if you slice it this way, can you see? Okay, so I'm going to pretend I'm slicing it uh, this way, right? You can slice it, uh, you can slice it like that. I'm going to create another, uh, so diagonally like that. Imagine if you slice it diagonally like that. So you can slice it in many different ways, but you need to imagine where that same cross section area is. And that same cross-section area is parallel with those two uh, sides that are parallel with each other and that are the same. So in this case, are these triangles. So, and this is what it means, the same cross-section area. So wherever you slice it, the area, which in this case is the light green, can you see the area of these triangles is exactly the same. So you have to slice the shape parallel with those two identical faces to be able to find that same cross-section area, okay? So this shape is actually called a triangular-based prism and the cross-section area is always a triangle. Right, let's have a look at this shape here, which you know it's a cylinder. Now, does it have a, a cross-section area that is the same? all the way? Oh, yes, it is. I mean, can you see those two identical faces that are parallel with, with each other? Is this one here, which is a, a circle, huh? and this one here, both of them are parallel. And if you slice this shape of this cylinder, so parallel, exactly parallel, so slice it like that, for example, parallel with both those two identical faces, you're gonna get this one. So the light blue, can you see the light blue? Let's say this one, number two, number three, number four. The area of this cross section slices, okay? It is exactly the same. And this is the fact that makes the cylinder a, a we can call it a, a prism. So we can call it a circular base prism, all right? Because it has that same cross-section area. Let's have a look at the next shape. Do you think this shape ellipsoid, do you think this could be called a ceiling, uh, sorry, a, a prism as well? Does it have a same cross-section area? Let's have a look at this. Now, can you see that I'm going to call this again one, two, three, and a, and, 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 and a four, you cannot see somewhere here inside, okay? Or maybe the other one here, not the uh, those shapes, so the, the shapes, those faces, the area of those faces is not the same as you can see. That means this shape ellipsoid cannot be a prism because the area of the cross section is not the same. So it's not uniform. You can try and slice it this way if you want, and you will find out that the area of the cross section is not the same. And so this is not a prism. This shape is not a prism. Let's have a look at this pyramid. Can pyramids be a prism? So it is a 
a square-based pyramid in this case, but is it a prism or not? Imagine you can slice it, you try and slice it, which, however, whichever way you want to find out. So you can do a little investigation to find out if you can find a um, same cross-section area. But actually, this shape doesn't have a cross-section area. And here you can see I sliced, oh, I sliced. Uh, so it is sliced, this shape. Now it is sliced this way, like that, uh, parallel with the base. Uh, and then you can see that the, the surface area of each cross-section, it is not the same. And so the pyramids are not prisms. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Now, do you think this shape, I can see it's a brick here and you have a, a, a salami, a pepperoni here. Uh, do you think these two shapes are prisms? Again, you have to find where that same cross-section area is. Let's have a look. Is that going to be the same for the first one? Yes, can you see? So these are the areas of the cross section, so the surface area of the cross sections, and you can see they are all the same and parallel with those two identical faces. Now you can find, I mean, th this shape, or this particular shape is going to be called a rectangular base prism. Yeah, so the base oh, is going to be a rectangle, but you can slice it the other way. You can slice it like that if you want. Yeah? Even if you slice it like that, so I'm going to put on, yeah. Even if you slice it like that, you can see, yeah, and you can slice it up for here as well. You can still find that the cross section area, can you see? It is uh, the, the area of the cross section, it is going to be the same because the rectangular base prism has how many pairs of parallel sizes? Them two, this one and this one on the back, and these two, so it has three pairs of parallel sides. And so uh, and that's why you can find uh, uh, that cross-section area, the same cross-section area through different way of slicing it, okay? And here, again, you can see it is a cylinder and then uh, the slices are all, the, the area of the slices are all the same, so the same cross-section area. So it is a, a prism. Let's have a look at the next shape. Do you think the apple can be a prism or the egg can be a prism? Let's have a look. So the area of the cross section, it is not the same. So it is not, see, you can see the area of the slices of the cross section is not the same. So it is not a prism, right? So you can have a look at this one. The, the cylinder is a prism. So the same cross section area, the cube is definitely a prism. We call it a a square-based prism and the cylinder, a circle-based prism, and this is a rectangular-based prism. This is a triangular-based prism. See the oh, because both identical faces and parallel faces are triangles, and they have it has as we saw it before the same cross-section area, and this is a pentagonal-based prism. All right, same cross-section area. If you slice it parallel with the pentagon, it is going to be the same. So the area of that slice is going to be the same. And here you can count now, you can, so one, two, three, four, five, six is called a hexagonal based, based prism. And if you slice it, uh, uh, the slice, the area of the slice is going to be exactly the same. Right, and there you go. These are the names, but you can call them prisms as well. Cuboid can could be a rectangular based prism and so on. Right, and these are the non-prism ones, shapes, cone, triangular based pyramid and square based pyramid, sphere, hemisphere and ellipsoid. And here oh, you have a variety of shapes, which I'd like you to uh, find the names and identify oh, which one are prisms and which ones are not prisms. So remember the prisms have the same cross section areas and that is the key feature that makes them called prisms right and you as i said before in the beginning of the video it's it's important to identify the cross section area because you are going to need that cross section to find the volume of a prism so thank you very much for watching math steps have a lovely day bye bye